Thank you for participating in this training to be approved as a 4-H leader in the Wyoming 4-H program. This session on risk management will cover why risk management is important, strategies to manage risk, and statewide organizational policies already in place to help manage risk. For this session, it will be helpful to have the following handouts, the risk management brochure, and the Did I Remember checklist. All volunteer leaders, regardless of their role in 4-H, need to think about risk management. Risk management is about protecting the things that are important to us. These generally fall into three broad categories, people, resources, and image. The people include our 4-H members, but they also include 4-H volunteer leaders, parents, families, spectators, and the general public. The resources include financial resources, but also include equipment, building, and land that might be owned by the 4-H program. Image is important because people want to participate in programs that are reputable and trustworthy. The risk management practices we have in place for people and resources have a direct impact on the image of 4-H. The state 4-H policies which are in place to manage risk are outlined in the risk management brochure. These policies include volunteer screening and training, liability insurance for volunteer leaders, and accident and medical insurance for leaders and members. It is important to contact your county 4-H educator whenever something happens that requires an insurance claim. Often the incident needs to be documented within 24 hours. Remember, the accident and medical insurance is a secondary insurance to supplement your primary insurance. With chaperones, a ratio of one adult chaperone for every seven youth is recommended. Of course, if you have younger members in the program, you will want to have additional adult chaperones to work with them. Overnight stays require two designated adult chaperones who must be at least 21 years of age. With transportation, drivers must hold a valid driver's license and annually complete the motor vehicle record check through the University of Wyoming. They must also carry auto liability insurance with at least the minimum limits required by the state of Wyoming. Have a seat belt for each passenger and always use a safe operating vehicle. Youth drivers must adhere to the driving restrictions according to the graduated licensing law. With finances, it is important to provide an opportunity for youth to learn how to manage money in a controlled environment. Suggesting limits on checking and savings accounts is one way to control the environment. To better manage the risk of financial loss, each 4-H club or committee is allowed to have only one checking account with an ending balance not to exceed $1,000 and one savings account with an ending balance not to exceed $2,000. An independent committee should annually audit all 4-H accounts, and each year 4-H clubs and committees are required to submit a completed chart of accounts, an inventory report, the financial report, the treasurer's book audit form, and the fundraising request forms. Any risk management plan begins with assessing the risk. Here's an example of a typical 4-H situation. A sheep fitting and showing workshop has been planned at your ranch. The members have been encouraged to bring their own sheep to the workshop so that they get hands-on practice. Other committee members have agreed to bring equipment and help chaperone. In developing a risk management plan, the first step is to identify the potential risk. What risk is there? Details which you need to consider include the age and maturity of the youth, adult supervision, safety rules, facilities, equipment, transportation, weather, and emergencies. When you are planning a program, ask yourself the following questions. What are the unexpected things that could happen to the participants, the spectators, the property, or the finances? What is the emergency plan? Do we have an emergency contact information? If something goes wrong, how will we respond? If something bad happens, how will the expenses be covered? The Did I Remember checklist will help you develop a risk management plan when you are organizing other 4-H activities. Once you know what the risks are, then you can plan for them. There are four basic strategies to manage risks. 
transfer the risk means that you will help find someone to share that risk with you. If you reduce the risk, you change the activity or the conditions to decrease the likelihood that a loss will occur. When you accept the risk, then you also accept that you will prepare for the possibility of loss to occur. And you would avoid the risk if the risks are too severe and the possibility of occurrence is too great, then you would not conduct the activity. Negligence is failure to use the degree of care which an ordinary person of reasonable prudence would use under similar circumstances. Thinking about the unexpected, having a plan in place and communicating the risk is the best way to protect yourself from being negligent. As representatives of the University of Wyoming, 4-H volunteer leaders must comply with all federal and state non-discrimination laws and policies, as well as obey all applicable laws, regulations, and procedures. Part of the Wyoming 4-H risk management is to use a volunteer behavior agreement form. Following are the behavior expectation standards that we have for 4-H volunteer leaders. Represent my county and UW Extension programs with dignity and pride by being a positive role model for youth. Conduct myself in a courteous, respectful manner and exhibit good sportsmanship. Refrain from the use of physical or verbal abuse. Refrain from inappropriate or unwanted touching of youth or adults. Refrain from destructive, offensive, or sexually inappropriate behavior. Refrain from the possession or use of illegal drugs. Avoid the use of alcoholic beverages, smoking, and the use of tobacco products at 4-H events when youth are present. Respect the property of others, including clothing, personal items, equipment, and facilities. Operate machinery, vehicles, and other equipment in a responsible manner. Promote and support UW Extension programs to develop an effective club, county, state, and national program. Thanks for completing this orientation. Please remember to complete the evaluation on the State 4-H website and set up an appointment to meet with your County 4-H educator once you have completed all of these online sessions.